I begin by addressing something that stood out to me in particular when doing research for my speech. The way in which workers who build the stadiums were and are treated in Qatar's kafala system. Some brutal truths to start off with. According to Amnesty International, thousands of migrant workers have died, with most of these death, deaths being uninvestigated. Workers are exploited, facing verbal, physical, and sexual abuse. They are forced to work incredibly long hours with those in the domestic sector in specific, typically clocking in 14 to 18 hours every day. Workers are lied to about their salaries, or they receive delayed salaries, or they receive no wage at all. Workers have had their passports confiscated, often not allowed to leave the country. It is nothing but worker exploitation, and I wonder, what is FIFA doing about all this? It seems FIFA are all talk and no walk. While they did adopt the United Nations guiding principles on business and human rights, they have not implemented concrete and effective policies. Any legal change in Qatar have not been sufficient, and the conditions for workers, they remain dire. Now, what of other human rights violations in Qatar? Homosexuality, for example, is illegal and punishable. While the Emir of Qatar claimed LGBTQ plus visitors are welcome, I find it hard to square this with the fact that some hotels that FIFA recommended straight up refused to accommodate same-sex couples. Is football not a sport for everyone? If football does not stand for that, then it is nothing, nothing more than a game for entertainment. Homophobic abuse was hurled at footballer Josh Cavallo from the stands during an A-League game. He will be playing in this World Cup, and though he has his criticisms about it, this is his dream, to play in this prestigious competition, but it's clouded by an uneasy feeling that he might not be safe. So, what are we supporting by watching this World Cup? We do want other parts of the world to be more involved in football, but at what cost? While football is for everyone, we must draw a line to protect particular communities. <laughs> now, I will not claim that all activities I take part in are morally perfect. I often eat meat which isn't organic, I occasionally buy bottled water or wear clothes from fast fashion brands. In any case, I don't believe that my participation in these things um, does not mean I can take a moral standpoint on certain issues because I try the, con the conscious effort to make a difference in some way, that's the goal. So I will stand here and condemn FIFA. I will say that this is not the way it is supposed to be and it remains feasible to make sure that I support this event as little as possible. While it's not always possible not to buy organic meat, it's quite easy not to turn on the BBC. Though there is an internal conflict on my part and I struggle to think of Germany lifting the trophy and me not being able to see it on the TV. And that's what makes this situation so ugly. It's the beautiful game turned to a splitting stain where the joy of sports is marred by death and discrimination. And so, if you are like me and you cannot bear not to watch the World Cup, then I still think there are some ways to watch it while supporting it as little as possible. One option is gathering all your friends and watching the matches on a single screen instead of each person watching it on their individual TVs in their household. I think this would reduce revenue for FIFA and sends a strong message. And while this is not a full boycott, it is a protest. And I urge you to do everything you can to take a stand. There are other options and I do not officially condone illegal streaming, but on the low, I would rather that than help FIFA get richer. Now, with that bell, I'll come towards the end of my speech with a mystic quote from the football legend Eric Cantona. After accepting the UEFA's President Award, he said, as flies to wanton boys, we are for the gods. They kill us for the sport. Cantona goes on, soon the science will not only be able to slow down the aging of the cells, soon the science will fix the cells to the state and so we will become eternal. Only accidents, crimes, wars will still kill us. But, unfortunately, crimes, wars, will multiply. I love football. So the speech, while bizarre, is eerily insightful. My interpretation is that Cantona is calling those out at the top. Those in charge are the gods and we are the flies. And his connection between crimes and football is poignant and relevant when we take a look 
at the situation in Qatar. And Cantona ends this through beautiful juxtaposition, claiming his love for football and urging us to keep our eyes open. And so I ask Messi, Ronaldo, Neuer and company, you who kick the ball for your respective countries and wear your badge on your chest, what does football mean to you? And I extend that question to all you members here tonight. What does football mean to you? I urge you to take a closer look at the conditions that are surrounding this tournament. I urge you to boycott the World Cup. I urge you to vote proposition. I love football. Thank you.